You know, Freddie, you probably thought that was the Chattanooga Choo Choo, but it's the Sarah. Evergreen Campground Choo Choo. Yes. <laughs> and we are in Wild Rose, Wisconsin. We're going to have a great time today. It's all about the kids and camping today. And there goes our good friend Jim Button, his lovely wife Dawn, and their family that own the Evergreen Campground. Oh, oh, man. I'm ready for today, sir. I'm ready for today, too. You ready, Freddy? Yeah. We'll be right back with more <laughs> Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling from Evergreen Campground in Wild Rose, Wisconsin. Oh, yes. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills, All Things Jerky, Cherry Delight, Rupa Pizza, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Lashbro Aerial Images, Sun Drop Soda, the Oneida Nation, and the new Oneida Market, and by Glorious Malone's Fine Sausage. Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. As I mentioned, Merrill, we are camping today. We are. What a beautiful place to camp at, too. I'll tell you what, there's over 400 sites here at Evergreen Campsite, whether it's a waterfront cottage, a premium deluxe cabin, a daily site, or an annual site. They got it, it all got for you. Can I go right swimming? Here. Sure, you can go swimming. Yay! They got pools and You pools can go right pools. now, Freddie. They got kids' <laughs> pools, kids' <laughs> pools. They got kid beaches. And they got an adult swim up pool with a bar. You got to be yes. 21 years or older to enter. But you first of all have to go to evergreencampsites.com. Evergreencampsites.com near Wild Rose, Wisconsin. In fact, Freddie. I'm a, I, when I was a little lad, a little shaver. Yes. Uh, when my mother called me Mad Puppy instead of Mad Dog, we are actually one of their first annual site campers here in yep. Evergreen because we live just about 40 minutes away, 45 minutes away. And, and when you come here, they have a nice little lake and they got an old metal slide. Oh, I knew was, you were going to say that. And that Go old ahead. metal slide was the first slide that, and first water attraction they had back in the 60s. Uh, so my folks and my uncle and my, their family came here every summer. We had an annual site, and it's a great place. Jim and the gang do a wonderful job. Great folks, great hospitality. <laughs> yep. And when you're camping, you might create your own pizzas. Ah, yes, there's nothing Ooh. like pizzas. That's there is nothing sure. like pizzas, and there's nothing like Golden Home Pizza Crust. Golden Home Pizza Crust, it has little hangers, and you'll usually find it hanging by the bakery department. Blue means whole white, and white, and red means just your regular, normal white crust pizza. Yep. Cool. Yep. All set up, ready to go, Cool too. beans. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do some great pizzas on the grill. Meryl, can I offer you a pizza oh, crust? Oh, take a pizza crust, this please, This is what's sir. great about it. There's three crusts in every one of these. They have the smaller packs with five. They all have a resealable little edge, so you don't have to worry about using them all up at the same time. Look at that dandy little You're a good there. man. You're I'll a good man. I'll take that baby with you. you. Got that baby right there. All Sounds right. good. All right, Freddie, do you like chili? I love chili, you, you know like that. Do you like hot dogs? Hot dogs, is, it's my second favorite. Hey, how about a chili hot dog pizza? Oh, it reminds me of there my buddy J-Dog. Yes. How about some hot chili hot right chili. off the grill? Hot chili, take that. <laughs> we need to use that as our sauce. Oh boy, that baby's bubbling. That's all right, Maybe I love let it. let that cool a little bit there. Turn that around. Like an hour? No, no. <laughs> Can I borrow that? Wow, you, you want to pour a little bit on there? It's hot. That. It's hot. Pour some on, I'll just scoop it on okay. for God's sake. I'll pour it on. There you I'll go. pour it on. You there pour you it go. on, I'll pour the there dog. You on. Be. Hold on, don't touch All that. Right, I won't. It's hot. Your mother uh, told you not to well, touch that. Okay, that should do. All right. Boy. Some good old chili. Canned chili if you like to. Homemade chili. Now this one has Why no beans. Why would you touch that handle? It's hot. It's hot. It's a hot <laughs> handle. Hot handle. Keep going, keep going. Do the edges. Do the edges. You remember that. All right, beautiful. Uh, get going you got on it. the pizza. That looks really you good. You got it. All right. Have you done this one before? Yes, I have. Now, I actually like it with the beans. This one's beanless. Okay. Okay. Obviously, got to have hot dogs if you're having chili dogs. Cool beans. Raise that other. Now, for you today, Freddie, I didn't bring any jalapenos. Thank but you very did, much. He did brown up the hot dogs first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah, that's yeah. okay. I, brown that's up the hot dogs, too spicy for me. Up, add some onions and some green pepper. Sprinkle that around. Now what's really great is we have our MHP. In fact, I gotta get the hood done. We gotta preheat okay. that. We gotta practice right. while we pre. We're gonna grill these direct method of cooking, both our pizzas. Yes. Direct method of cooking, but a real low heat. We don't want to burn that beautiful crust. You can use a pizza stone, but with these thin crusts, they cook up so gosh darn fast. They do. They do. 
Top it with cheese. I'm all set, sir. So peppers, onions, cheese, a little bit of uh, chili on top of there. You and some got it. Hot dogs. You got it. That chili a, hot dog. That man. is a camper's delight. That is my favorite. <laughs> I'm hooked on these babies. I really am. Golden Home Pizza Crust. I'm using the Golden Home Pizza Crust. Don't forget to go to exploreonida.com. Exploreonida.com. Because right now we're going to do ourselves a nice little Native American. Okay. I'm going to use a little bit of Alfredo sauce. I'm going to use a All little right. white sauce for the base. Definitely and that's the Alfredo on top crust. of there. It's like Freddy sauce? That is like Freddy sauce. <laughs> Freddy sauce. <laughs> We're going to put a little Alfredo on top of there. Now, when you go to Oneida Market and when you explore Oneida.com, go to their website. Great tours, great events all year round. Every week, every uh, 4th of July, it's the powwow. Later in the fall, you can catch Big Apple Fest. Check out exploreoneida.com. Big Apple Fest, great place to go. And of course, their Oneida Market. So right here, we have some bison chuck roast that I cooked down. I got mushrooms and beautiful white corn. White corn was a staple. It's got some great protein. So I could have used that just alone for the protein. But that's basically going to be my pizza on the grill. And I'm going to start out with the cheese. All right. We're gonna put a whole bunch of cheese on that baby. I love this white corn. Some cooked down bison. And this is all nice and tender. Beautiful bison, very lean, very heart healthy for you. Yeah, that's It actually right. lowers your, your bad cholesterol. That's I a like good that thing. idea. And we got some shrooms. Do you like mushrooms, Freddie? Yeah, I'm a shroom guy. Good He's a shroom guy. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be good. Isn't that gonna jealous, be good? And we can't man. forget the white corn. White corn tastes like nachos, by the way. <laughs> they do have that flavor to it, yeah. for sure and just a little extra cheese over the top. And we're gonna slip these on the grill right now. We're gonna slip them both on the grill, medium, low, direct heat. And we're gonna put the hood down and 10 to 12 minutes, in about five Easy. minutes, we're gonna yep. circle them around, just shove a little spatula underneath them and get them going. So from Evergreen Campsite, Evergreen Campsites in Wild Road, Wisconsin. Freddie, take it away, big guy! Get the pizzas on! Beautiful. Mad Dog and Merrill here. Try our to work. I love sun-ripe tomatoes on my burger. Sun-ripe tomato? It's all in there. Man, I love sauerkraut on my sausages. <laughs> sauerkraut? It's in there. <laughs> uh, I love spicy mustard on everything. Spicy mustard? It's in there. It's so sad. I love onions. <laughs> Onions, it's in there. DeWorks, no more mess. All in one condiment, and now DeWorks with sweet pickle relish. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. Are you tired of the same old thing? Moo. Taste the wild side with exotic edibles from all things jerky. Check out our large selection of exotic jerky and frozen meats. Gator, kangaroo, boar, bison, elk, and more. Try before you buy with our bulk beef jerky. We carry hot sauces and supplies to make your own jerky and sausage. The perfect gift for every occasion is our mug of meat and gift boxes. Visit our stores in Eagle River, Minocqua, and Appleton and shop online at allthingsjerky.com. More than just jerky, all things jerky. Lashbro Aerial Images, a division of Lashbro Visual Communications, is a premier drone imaging company. Stunning high definition video, compelling high resolution photography. Lashbro Aerial Images is remote pilot certified and fully insured. Images for advertising, broadcast, print, online, mapping, real estate, and more. Take your vision to the next level with Lashbro Aerial Images. you come a long ways, Joe. A two-time Olympian, a World Cup captain, and an NHL All-Star. How'd you get so good, Joe? Hard work and nutrition from Wisconsin Potatoes. Wisconsin Potatoes. Grandpa, please pass the potatoes. I got this. What? Healthy and delicious Wisconsin Potatoes. Ah, Wisconsin winter sports and a crisp old-fashioned sundrop soda. Ah, oh, yeah, perfect for snowmobiling, skiing, sledding, hockey. 
Or you know what, Mad Dog, just relaxing on the old eye. You know, Merrill, there may be a legal limit on walleye, perch, or, or bottle bass. But there's no limit on good old-fashioned sun drop soda. Wisconsin Winter Sports. Be safe, drink responsible, drink locally bottled sun drop soda. All right, guys, off the ice. Puck drops in five minutes. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling from Evergreen Campgrounds. Rose, Wisconsin. <laughs> hey, here, let me get this other pizza right. off here. This thing looks oh, absolutely gorgeous, job, sir. Look at those golden, Good job. those golden home pizza crusts. <laughs> they are so crispy, so delicious, so ultra thin. That's our nice little bison uh, with white corn and cheese and mushroom. And that looks good enough to eat, don't it? Well, I can't I hope wait. So. I plan it on. There's Merrill's little chili pizza with peppers, onions, and, and cooked up hot dogs on the grill. Both of them are delicious. Most of them are versatile. And when you're at, when you're cooking for the kids, lay out a whole array of things and let them build their That's own pizzas. That's right. Because everybody likes pizzas. things different. Like Freddie wouldn't go for the jalapeno. No, he would no, not go for the jalapeno. I'd go for those. Those are right on. They got exactly it. right. Got it. Thank exactly you, right. Sir. I'll tell you what, campgrounds nowadays are different than the 60s when oh, I grew up. Big difference. Big, <laughs> big difference. Everybody caters to the kids. And I'll tell you what, nobody does it better than Evergreen Campgrounds here in Wild Rose. Evergreencampsites.com. They got beautiful swimming pools behind us, waterfalls, water this, water that. An adult pool for 21 years or older where you can just go and relax a little bit off to the side so your adults have your own pool. They've got a gorgeous lake. With all these blow up things sitting in the yeah. water, bouncy things you can I know, play on, it's I know. great. Can you imagine me on one of them babies? Oh, you you can do it though, that's what's great about it. And that's what's great about camping. They right. also have a wonderful uh, restaurant with Friday night fish fries and all kinds of great things. They have a nice little grocery store there, a game room. They got a kid's fishing pond, they got kid's pools, they got a heated water park down below. They got it all right here at Evergreen in Wild Rose. And it's absolutely delicious. It is, it is. Absolutely. A little spinology of Wisconsin potatoes today, sir. That's what we're going to be doing. EatWisconsinPotatoes.com. EatWisconsinPotatoes.com. It's the last time I'm saying it, so listen. Oh, I'll say it one more time. I know I will. I know I will. <laughs> hey, I've got some Wisconsin gold here. Gold they look potatoes. Good. Now, first of all, I own the bottom of this pan with our sunflower oil. Very lightly on the bottom. This is typical at old regular campers, especially, you know? <laughs> your potatoes, your onions, your green pepper. But what's so nice about it, I mean, it's so easy to do that I could do this even blindfolded. Do you know that? Even blindfolded. Something, sometimes I think that's how you go through life. <laughs> I've gone that way all my life, that's for sure. So anyway, we're gonna layer the potatoes down at the bottom. Hey, I'm sure those they're hard to get to, aren't they? You got it. A lot of water content to Yukons. I love oh, them. Oh, they're great. Great potatoes. Yep, I some dig onions. Them. Freddie digs them. Mix that around. They remind me of peppers. panning for gold. <laughs> well, it, it is does. like panning yes, for gold, yes. man. Yeah. But you mix these up. You're, the, you make you're the biggest nugget here, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> A big nugget. You can mix these around how much as you want. You can put as much as you want in here. I only did about three potatoes. Normally, I mean, if you got a family of six or so, pile it on. Layer it up. Here it goes. Now, instead of better, instead of better, instead of butter, <laughs> I'm using a little bit of sunflower. Look at that, baby. That was delicious. I'm going to lift the hot dog off there. What? Mm. Well, a little sunflower oil. <laughs> Shake that around. Mm. Place it on the grill. We got some already done. Sprinkle a little oregano on there, baby. That's my cue. That's his cue. You got her, man. You got her. <laughs> Stir that around and then load it with some cheese. Now, here's another great way to do it. I've never done this before. What? And that's grillology. <laughs> but take a gander over here, Mr. Cameraman. I made scalloped potatoes and ham. That's Freddie's favorite meal growing up is scalloped potatoes and right. ham. <laughs> and here's what I did is I took a lovely ham steak. I seared it up on one side and I flipped it over so it's nice and warm. And here's the ingredients. We're gonna take some Wisconsin red potatoes and I par cook those red potatoes until they're 90% done, cool them down and sliced them so I can make scalloped potatoes and ham. I have onions over here. We have the potatoes, we got grandma hazels. I'm gonna use an Alfredo sauce and cheat just a little bit here and use an Alfredo sauce and a little bit of great Oneida white flour to kind of thicken it up a little bit. So we're gonna add a little bit of sauce over the top of our ham. And I'm gonna simply gonna take some sliced potatoes. 
and put that over the top of my ham steak that I flipped one time so it's nice and warm the ham steak is. Now I have no heat right now underneath my ham steak. It's going to be indirect method of cooking. I'm going to put a little gram of hazels over the top of that. We're going to pour a little more Alfredo sauce over the oh. top of that. And I'm going to build one more layer of good old fashioned Wisconsin potatoes. Buy local support, local, eatwisconsinpotatoes.com. We're going to add some more potatoes over the top of that, a few more onions over the top of that, a little more grandma hazels, and a little bit more of our Alfredo sauce. And just kind of drizzle that over the top so I have no heat underneath that ham steak right now. We're going to put the hood down. <laughs> And let me show you this baby. I, I want to see this. I am going to scoop that baby right off because it looks delicious. Now we're using our grill mats. MadDogAndMeryl.com. You can go under MadDogAndMeryl.com and order our grill mats. They're absolutely wonderful. When you see it at different events, you see us. We'll be there with the grill mats. We're just going to take that baby and I'm going to scoop oh, that off. Oh, man. Can you believe it? And now there, there's a ham steak <laughs> underneath there someplace, folks. There's a ham steak oh. underneath there. That is going to be delicious. You got yes. it. Now, there's a little bone in there someplace because it's a ham steak, but you cut around there, you serve it up in platters. It'll be the best campground eats you ever had. From Wild Rose, Wisconsin, everybody is going to take it away. Evergreencampsites.com. Take them camping, ladies and gentlemen. Take them camping. You got to try this pizza, man. That's I know. Cool. Try that one right there. You got it. You got it. Oh, man. Seriously. Oh, my God. Not delicious. Mm -hmm. Was it good? Uh, that's Alfredo. Oh, this, yeah. Okay, here's what you want to do. All right. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Now, Merrill, you sink this putt, you win the tournament, and the coveted cooler of ice cold sun drop soda. Towel. Sun drop. Pull the pin. Locally bottled, crisp, old fashioned flavor, sun drop. Make your summer fantasy come true. What's your summer sun drop fantasy? Hocus Pocus Grillorama. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you grilling magic. Grilling magic, a perfect blend of garlic and pepper and other magical ingredients. I'm Grandma Hazel. Try my secret family spice blend, passed down from generations. Steaks, fish, burgers, chicken pork, all things grilled. Grandma Hazel never rubbed you wrong. <laughs> the best in the Midwest, grilling magic, Grandma Hazel, and our own seasonal. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. Inflammation and muscle pain can prevent us from activities such as walking, golfing, exercising, and more. Rapid Performance Products provides all natural relief utilizing the superfruit tart cherries. Rapid Red contains natural antioxidants that help combat the inflammation and pain of our muscles associated with activity. To help the aging maintain their muscle mass, try our Rapid Whey with 12 grams of whey protein isolate. Keep fit and stay active with Rapid Performance Products. Glorious Malone's Gourmet Head Cheese and Country Pâtés are Southern deliciousness. Tender pork, blended spices, and bold flavors. Superbly handcrafted fresh, without fillers, jellies, or preservatives. Glorious Malone's quality flavors have been loved throughout the Midwest for over 60 years. Enjoy it sliced on crackers, or think outside the cracker. Try it on pizza, burgers, stuffed pork, and more. Ask your grocer for Malone's. Mmm, Southern deliciousness. <laughs> Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Fast Freddy on the keyboards, oh, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hey, thanks for being with us this year, by the way. Yeah. You've really made it you've made it to the big time. Yes, yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, I have. And bringing me to this place, you know what yeah. my highlight's gonna be is riding those pedal cars. The pedal cars oh, are I can't great. wait. He's like a little kid waiting <laughs> to do that. And they actually have a train ride that they give a train ride to everybody. It's a it's a bucket train ride, but you get a bag of popcorn to eat as you're taking the train wide and you go around the campground. So you gotta bring the kids to Evergreen Campsites, Evergreen Campsites. Evergreencampsites.com 
Freddie booked his whole year next year, didn't you? I'm all set. This He's place set. is super. Isn't it? Yeah, great? I can't amazing. wait. You bet. It really, really is. When you think of all the things that you can do. Well, what do we got going? You know, there's a lot. Of, there is a lot of competition with campgrounds. There's a lot of competitions with campgrounds. You got to get yourself a nice little camper. Go camping. It's a phenomenal thing. It's it's like a water park for the kids. No matter where you seem to go. Plus, you're relaxed. And, and you know something though, we got such a big family. I, I also have to get two tents. Relax. Yeah, he's got to relax. He always gets two tents. Stuff it, all Freddy. The time. Stuff all it. All the time, two tents. Hey, we're gonna stuff do it. it. You stuff it. We're, I am. It. All right. We're gonna all do right. a little wine pairing <laughs> right now. And what better than our good friends up in Kenyon, Minnesota, Asplen Winery, AsplenWinery.com. They have a great selection of different wines. Yes, the next time do. you see us, we'll be using their elderberry. They planted like 450 elderberry plants, and they've got beautiful elderberry wine. We're going to be pairing, of course, their tomato wine, their lovely tomato wine. I ripped their little label. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> they ripped the, they, they're pairing the tomato wine with some beautiful stuffed tomatoes. And the first thing I want to do is pop open the tomato wine. And I made a little bit of rice, and I put a little bit of sunflower oil in there and tarragon. Okay. okay. And so I, I had a little seasoned rice. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that tomato wine over the top of that rice okay. to give it some flavor as I'm cooking away here. So in my stuffing of the tomatoes, I took a nice fresh tomato. Tomatoes are fresh out of the garden or at the grocery store. Buy local, support local. Speaking of the grocery stores, by the way, when you head to your different grocery stores, uh, and we have them in quite a few of the stores around the Midwest, look for all our sauces. But Mad Dog and Merrill's number one barbecue sauce actually took a gold medal the uh, with Illinois Barbecue Society had a national competition, <laughs> hundreds of entries, hundreds yes. of entries. And in a sweet tomato-based sauce, the beautiful number one barbecue sauce took a gold medal. So look for it in all your stores. If you can't find it, ask for it. And we'd also like to welcome our good friends in Bismarck, Minot, and Fargo, North Dakota. They're new watchers of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We're going to have a great time with you good folks. Yes, you are. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You're Midwesterners just like we are. So I took my tomatoes and I actually cut a little, you can do it two different ways. The ones I have on the grill, I actually took and cut in half a smaller Italian tomato. And I cut those in half and hollowed them out and I made the stuffing. You can do the nice little hybrids of the little garden tomatoes and you can actually slice off a side, hollow out the inside so we have a neat little pocket. Oh. It fits just about anything. Freddie, do you have a $20 bill? <laughs> 20 lucky we even have a uh, dollar. That's exactly right. right. <laughs> so my stuffings today, and just about anything works, is we have some black beans, I have some regular peas, a little bit of diced up thinly sliced celery, and the rice now, now that's been soaked or splashed with a little bit of the tomato wine. And so we're gonna actually just blend these babies. I might as well just blend those babies together. Now the ones yep. behind me have some grated cheese and the cheese is in the cooler. So you can just imagine that I'm gonna add the cheese in there, but I can smell that beautiful tomato wine. And we're gonna add some cheese inside of there. And then we're just gonna simply stuff our tomatoes. Now the key thing about stuffed tomatoes is not a good hot heat underneath them, but an indirect method of cooking. Yeah, okay. you wanna, going slow. You wanna slow cook those tomatoes and mine are done and I don't think they've been on our Phoenix grill with the hood down for more than 10 to 12 minutes. Right, it's just right. enough to warm them through. So what we're gonna do to pair these together, I'm gonna take a couple of these nice barely warm tomatoes and we're gonna set them right there. We're gonna take a nice ice cold bottle of tomato wine from Aspen Winery, aspenwinery.com. And we're gonna pour a beautiful uh, glass of tomato wine to go with our paired tomatoes and that's good eats. Good job. Good Excellent eats. Job. Good eats. It looks hey. romantic almost. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't scare yeah. me. Yeah. Don't scare yeah. me. Don't say that. It yeah. looks manly. It looks manly, Freddie. All right. Mm -hmm. Breading. A lot of people don't, can't believe that you can go ahead and bread fish if you want to, chicken, pork, beef, and cook it on the grill. Today we're doing that. What's great is I'm using white cornmeal, which I got at the Oneida Market, which is absolutely great. Something a little bit different. There again, you could really taste the corn. So they take the, the they take the whole corn, the whole white corn, and you actually use it in the meal. Right. And I I, I use the flour when I put it inside my uh, 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 scallop potatoes. Yep. Yep. That was it great. Up, that was flour. great. Yep. Now what I've done, I've done a 50-50 mixture. I've used the uh, cornmeal, and I've used some breadcrumbs. I'm going to season this a little bit, quite heavily, with good old grilling magic. Garlic, pepper, has a great flavor. Now I've mixed these both together, the flour and the, the uh, cornmeal, mix it up. I've oiled the pork steak with their sunflower oil. I'm going to do that so they can, we can just kick a gander at it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, you got it. Spread that out. 
I like taking a gander at that. Maybe you like taking a gander. <laughs> there you go. Place it on the grill, four to five minutes on each side. You're all set. I've got one already on the grill. Let me show done. you this baby right here. This let is it, phenomenal. Let show you. Look at that baby. That's like the cornmeal breading on there. There is right. nothing you can't bread. And no, the there isn't. Breading. No, there isn't. The king of breading right, right there. Freddie, take us away. I'll tell you that. Oh, it's yeah. time to close this baby out right now. From Evergreen Campsites, evergreencampsites.com. We'll be right back. Oh, yes. Freddie, I got that glass of tomato wine as a little more reward for you. <laughs> <laughs> Smile when you play. Bye, oh, yes. <laughs> hey. As a mother, I choose healthy snacks for my children. What they eat now can have a lasting effect on their overall health. Cherry Delight Dry Cherries provide a healthy snack and taste delicious. Unlike sugary treats, these tasty fruit snacks are all natural and provide essential nutrients and vitamins important in growing bodies. From chocolate-covered Cherry Delights to tart cherry juice, these snacks are full of nutrition. Visit us in Forceville, just 30 minutes from Green Bay, or order online at countryovens.com. We dig Wisconsin potatoes. Healthy grown, eco-friendly Wisconsin potatoes. Potatoes that are appealing. One medium potato harvests 110 calories. They're high in potassium and sodium free, which is good for your heart. They're also free of fat, gluten, and cholesterol. And full of vitamins and minerals. From farm to fork, Wisconsin potatoes provide the most nutrients per penny. Which makes Wisconsin potato growers outstanding in the field. Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill, nothing better than a pile of wings and Mad Dog and Merrill's grilling sauces. You got that right, Mad Dog. I'm ready to dig into these babies. <laughs> Number one, thick and rich. I'm going for the spicy. And it's the smokehouse for me, yeah. Oh, this time I'm going for the spicy. Oh man, I got the hickory. <laughs> Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. I came in initially for um, lower neck pain and back pain, headaches. Whiplash, migraine headaches. I have never used chiropractic here before. I was very nervous. I decided to choose a back in action. Something amazing happened. Dr. Hansen has actually made some other improvements that I was not seeing him for. It wasn't actually back issues, but it was a nutritional issue. Dr. Hansen, he goes above and beyond. They're very thorough. I would highly recommend using Back in Action with Dr. Hansen. And relief is, is sooner than you think. It has been reported that Mad Dog and Merrill's signature sauces and spices have been seen around the world. And now we want to know where in the world is Mad Dog and Merrill? Take a selfie holding a Mad Dog and Merrill's product in front of a sign or interesting landmark. Post the photo to Mad Dog and Merrill's Facebook page. And once a month, one lucky fan will win a grilling set of Mad Dog and Merrill's products. Go to Facebook.com slash Mad Dog and Merrill. Happy grilling! Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Take them camping, ladies and gentlemen. Check out Evergreen Campsites. Peace, love, and happy grilling. Happy grilling, everybody. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is a production of Lash Bro Visual Communications. Beautiful. Beautiful.